Haven't you been in an ad before? Whoop, what, what ad? You sound so excited about that as well. What ad? Big M. Big M, the milk. Not those ones, the later ones. Not those ones, the later ones. What do you mean? Big M's back in the day were a bit more... What, do you think you're fucking better than the other Big M people? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? You don't chocolate milk ads. You think you're better than other chocolate milk adders? Who's this fucking Oscar winner? Jesus, what are you talking about? Not the bad ones, the good, oh yeah, the good ones. You know the good ones, guys? The good chocolate milk ads we all remember? What are you talking about? You can't fool a bloody bullshit. I did McDonald's ads, okay? I think I know shit ads, all right? Have pride, did a chicken ad. Did a chicken ad, uh, well, it was an ad for, an ad for a particular fast food company where I walked in and I said, chicken, and then I ate, ate a burger, and that was it. Uh, yes, the script needed work, but uh, I made the most of it. And, uh, got paid 4,500 bucks a day. That's a lot of money, right, when you're 20 years old. And, but like, back then, like, when it landed in my bank and I was like, I got more money than God. It was the best thing ever, right? Um, and, and, uh, and so, like, I was so excited. Me and my friends, we hit the cribs, right? I was just popping bottles. I got into a dance off with an Indian dude. Uh, dived through his legs on the, on the dance floor as the best, right? And then I got kicked out of the club. It sort of turned shit. I had this massive fight with the bouncer and my girlfriend at the time just comes out and is like, what are you doing? I was getting in, like having a big argument with the bouncer. And she's like, this Mac is out. It's gone to your head, right? And, uh, and we broke up there and then. And she told me right while we were standing there, she said, oh, you're shit in bed, right? <laughs> How harsh is that? I was 18 years old. She said, you're shit in bed. I still think about that. I was 19 years old. I mean, 18 years old. I still think about that 10 years later. I mean, like, and maybe I was shit in bed back then. Maybe I had a few body issues that I was dealing with that teenage boys have to go through that a lot of, you know, don't get much focus. For instance, maybe I was a little bit concerned about the fact that I kind of got big puffy nipples. Okay, maybe that's a thing. All right, and I do, and I still do, and I have worries about it. I'm even wearing this shirt tonight. I was like, God, you're going to be on TV. Should you wear this shirt? They'll see your nipples. And it's like, buddy, shut up, Matt. Put some sticky tape on them. Get the fuck out there, all right? <laughs> Just get over it, mate. Maybe I was a little bit self-conscious back then because I'd only had sex with two and a half people before her, okay? What about that? And yes, I said two and a half people, okay? Because it was three. No, look, it was two and one was a dip. Like, one was like... And then that was it. But it went past the head, okay? So I counted. That counts, right? And it was a consensual dip. It wasn't like she was like, what the fuck was that? It was like... She was like, dip it, dip it, dip it. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. No one's ever said dip it. <laughs> oh, man. No, no. I put it in and I pulled it out and I fully planned to go back in again, but the person sleeping next to us woke up. Anyways, it was, it was, it was, we were 18. I hope I've gotten better.